to glorify your name. We are here, O oh God, in your presence. Because of the assurance of your great word, we are certain that you will fulfill your promise and be in our midst this evening. We thank you for this opportunity. Because, oh God, it's, it's indeed a privilege and an honor. Every time we call on your great name. Lord Jesus, we are ever so great. That's why, Father, we don't, don't lose an opportunity to tell how marvelous you are. How powerful, how mighty. And even right now, Lord God, that we are experiencing so much technical difficulties for tonight's meeting, we say boldly in the face of the enemy that our God is victorious. Our God always wins. And so, Father, in your great name we gather. In the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you. We adore you. Oh, God, we bow our hearts to you. Ah, we acknowledge, Lord God, your goodness to us. Your tender mercies we can see daily. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord God. We are thankful. Jesus, whenever we think of your precious name, our hearts, oh God, starts to beat faster because we know that we're calling on the name of the one who loved us beyond that which we can comprehend. We are still, we still marvel, Lord God, at the mystery that surrounds this great love. That one would lay down his life, lay down his life, hung on a tree, a tree that your word tells us that is a sign of a curse. Curse is the one that hangs on a tree. But yet, oh Christ, you went there. You went to the cross for us. Simply saying that we are grateful seems so inefficient, oh God. But forgive us for her the lack of words. Because indeed, Lord God, if we, if we had a thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough to tell how grateful, to shout your name, how grateful we really are. Be with us tonight. May thy Holy Spirit be here, O oh God, our desire is to walk in obedience to your call. You said that you call us to partake in your body and your blood. And as often as we do this, you said we show forth your debt until you come. And tonight, that's our intention, Lord God. Be with us. Father, we're going to pause to take a quick look at, you, at your holy word. Reveal, Father, yourself to us through this. We thank you for the blessings that lie in store for us. Bless every member of this group. Those who are here and those who are absent. We thank you for your mercies. We pray for our brother and sister, brother Tim and sister, Antoinette, who are grieving the loss of their loved one, Lord God. 
your word asks us and encourage us not to grieve as one that's without hope, but as it stands right now, Father, we, we're not even certain. The one that passed away knew you. Comfort their hearts, Lord God, as they grieve. And as we join in, in prayer for them, Lord God, may our hearts also be burdened. Bless them and keep them, we pray. We ask these mercies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, man, I was praying and hoping that uh, our numbers would increase, but I see it right here. <laughs> Woo! We're right here, but not, not to worry, not to worry, not to worry at all. I don't know, I, I wanted to look at a couple of verses from Ephesians. I really wanted to look at a few verses from Ephesians chapter 2, maybe from verse 1 to, to 10 tonight. That is when I, I thought we were going to have more time. Because for me, I find it difficult, man, to, to just ch start or pick up from chapter 2 in Ephesians. Because, man, chapter 1 of Ephesians is one of the, the more beautifully laid out pieces of Scripture that the Apostle Paul, you know, penned. And you know, our dear brother, has written some great stuff. Great stuff. I mean, when I look at the book of Romans, especially chapter, chapter 8, oh man, I, I often say, compared it to sports, the dear brother Paul was in the, he was in the zone when he wrote that piece of scripture. In, in Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter 13, we know it. That chapter that covers love, man. Mm. Oh, the, 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 the degree of anointing that must have rested on the apostle when he was penning that, man, is tremendous. Mm. And I think Ephesians chapter 1 is, is one of them chapters, you know, that he just, he was just out of his mind writing, man. Mm. Angels were writing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, his name is there, but angels were writing, man. And so it, um, I, I was hoping that, that Sister Shanda would be on. I know she's one of, uh, you know, the speed readers. Because before I went into uh, going to chapter two, I wanted her to just run to chapter one for so we can just bask in the beauty and the power of what the, the apostle wrote as he opened up that book for the Ephesians. But um, as I said, we, 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 we're down on time. So um, when you get a chance again, read over that chapter. Maybe it wasn't intended for us to read it quickly. Maybe you take your time, read it slowly. Powerful, man. Mm. When she went to Ephesians chapter one, I glance, I glance at um, I glance at verses uh, five from chapter one. Just, 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 just to tease, and what you know, what, what tickles me like that when I when I read it, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the, the good pleasure of his will. The praise and the glory of his grace. Yes. Wherein we, he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Amen. So beautiful, man. So beautiful. In, uh, and and the, whole, the whole chapter is like that. Putting down, putting down powerful 
powerful language on paper talking about the God we serve and what he did for us, you know, as he establishes, reestablishes relationship with the fallen mankind. But let, let me jump to um, chapter two real quick. And verse one, and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. I like to un underline that word dead. As the Apostle Paul wrote, dead in trespasses and sin because so often, you know, because of our own, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not selfish. It's not, maybe it's prideful ways. Mm -hmm. You hear it all the time. You know, person will say, I don't think I'm such a bad person. Or maybe I should say the unbeliever or the unsaved would say, I don't think I'm such a bad person. Some of them will go to the point and say, I'm a good person. Good. Not following the ways of Christ, but they feel like in their own flesh, they're good. Maybe Maybe you and I, at some stage of our life, felt that way before we knew Christ. But the Apostle Paul is telling us here, man, that we were dead. I mean, we were walking dead people. You know, trespasses and sin. I know sometimes you hear in, in, when, 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 when folks get up to testify, they say, that, they say things like, um, 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 you know, I was... I was sinking. I was, I was falling. No, we weren't. Paul is saying that we were already dead. Dead. You know, <laughs> not dying, not falling, not sinking, but dead. You know, in our trespasses and sin. Where it was time, where in time past, he walk according to the curse of the, this world according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Yeah, that's where we were. That's where we were. We took our commands from the prince of this world, from the enemy, Satan himself. That's who we serve. You know, the, 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 the fact is that there is no gray area in this relationship with God. Yeah, but that, if we're not for him, we are against him. It's simple. If we are not with Christ, then we are against Christ. Even though we might have, we might be loaded with good intention. That's what he's saying here. You know? And 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 as I forget which 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 chapter tells us now that we can't serve two masters. In other words, we can't be struggling in the fence. The nature of Christ would not allow that. You know, Revelation even warns us that God will not tolerate, he simply will not tolerate lukewarmness. So if we try to struggle the fence, he promised he's going to spit, spit us out in heaven. He said, I'd rather you be cold, cold, than to be lukewarm. And, you know, we, 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 we have, you know, around us and amongst us, you know, churches, you know, filled with lukewarm. Christians these days, you know, and even ourselves, we have to guard against the spirit of lukewarmness. If God wants us hot, he said, if, if you can't be hot, it's best for you to be cold. Because if you're lukewarm, he ain't got nothing to do with you. Nothing. Oh, my. 
Oh my. Well, that, man, that's that's serious stuff right there, man. Uh, that's serious stuff. Well, let's let, let me continue. Among whom verse three, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the loss of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Yeah, that's what we were. You know, just simply put, children of disobedience. Scripture tells us that, um, I think it was David who wrote, that in sin that his parents conceived him, you know. So we, 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 we came out sinners, you know, we came out sinners and it took, you know, we, we were on that pathway and it, it, it took the, um, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, washing us, cleansing us, transforming us. I like that word transforming us man to turn us around verse verse four but god yeah this is what he did for us who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sin hath quickened us together with Christ. Ah, oh, by grace ye are saved. Man, that's powerful. That is powerful. <laughs> because of the riches of his grace, his great love. Oh, he quickened us, changed us, man. You know, I said it on, on here. From time to time, I don't have to look too far over my shoulders to see who I was. I know. I knew who I was, man. You know? But it still amazes me that even in that, that guttery type of living, Christ came. Spoke a word to, to this heart of stone. Oh, Jesus. Spoke a word to this heart of stone and delivered me, man. Powerful stuff. You know, and, and as I told you guys before, I, I still marvel at the force, that great force, the great power of the Holy Spirit. That took a hold of me at the time, at that time. And I followed him like a lamb. I cannot explain to you. Because back then my, my heart was filled with evil, man. I got, I was loaded with evil intention. And yet when he spoke a word to me. I find myself, the best way to put it, unable. It's like, I don't know, you guys, some of you guys might never have been drunk before. <laughs> it don't take much to get me drunk when I used to hang out. You know, Brother Henry, when I was in the military with these guys, I was the designated driver. Each time we would roll out on the street, station in Germany, I'm, you know, my, my, my place was, um, my city was called Hanau. It's just like half an hour out of Frankfurt. But in Germany, we used to travel hundreds of miles, to go and party. Yeah. Hundreds of miles, man, 200 miles, 200. In 50 miles, of course, we knocked that off in, in, in just a couple of hours. You know, we're traveling on Audubon. We would travel. 
But whenever I would go out with these guys, I was a designated driver, so they would have themselves a great time, and they knew I would bring them back to the barracks safe. Because I couldn't drink. <laughs> Even when you come to my house, back in the days when I used to drink a beer and every now and again, like if a friend comes by, you would see me with a, with a cork in my hand. <laughs> if you watch me carefully, I would be throwing the cork up. Each sip I take, I throw the cork up. And if I can't catch that cork, the, 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 the bottle, you know, the, 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 the cover, if I can't catch it, I'm putting down that drink. Because I know, I know it's over, you know. So that's how I used to gauge myself. But I'm just saying, man, there in the gutter, he spoke. Spoke a word to my heart. And I couldn't resist. Powerful stuff. I couldn't resist. Jesus, transform my life. Now I'm eternally grateful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Verse 6. And has, yeah, yeah, and has raised us up together and make us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He raised us up from the dead. Caused us to sit in heavenly places. Mm. With Christ Jesus. The pure one, the holy one. We, we, there we are. Seated with him. Because we are now adopted sons and daughters. Mm. Washed up, cleaned up put on a nice robe, and there we are sitting. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. That in the age to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace, these are the famous words that every believer tries to memorize. By grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Purely the gift of God. Know a few folks who are, will tell you that they were born in church. Why? Because their their parents were. Um, very active in church. And so even while they were in their, their, their mother's womb, their mother was very active in church. You, you get that a lot from pastors' kids. They were born in church, raised in church. It's amazing. None of that stuff can't even save you. You're born in church, raised in church. You're the pastor's child. You, you're church. Almost seven days a week. You're raised there. And if you don't submit, give your heart to, to Jesus Christ, have that personal encounter with him, for him to transform our lives, all that stuff will be for naught because that stuff can't save. We classify that type of stuff as just works. That translates into my, um, my next verse. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. I love that verse. It's not repeated a lot. Eight and nine is well known. But verse 10 Few people stop to consider. And I think it's equally important. This is the reason why Christ saved you and I. For his workmanship, created 
unto good works, works which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Should walk in them. Whenever you mention works, In Christendom over the last 20 and 30 years, <laughs> you draw a certain attention. In fact, if you say certain things, quote certain scriptures, the fact that we should walk, we strive to walk righteous. Try to walk, strive to walk, and be more like Christ. There's some. And the Christian community will shout back at you, works. No, we're not saying that we are saved by works or works itself can save us. No. We know that it's, it's strictly by grace alone and faith alone that we are saved. But we are also say, saying, that we are not just saved to sit around and even struggle the fence, as I said before, flipping back and forth, mm -hmm. you know. No, that's not why we are saved, man. We are saved unto good works. God ordained that for us, that we might walk in it. All right, all right, all right. Time is going, man. That's enough babbling. That's that's enough, Bevan, and uh, we have um, we have communion coming up. But um, I I hope that I was able to to, to paint a picture. It's, it's it's some of the it's a I should say it's a portion of scripture that I love a lot. You know, like I said, in this book of Ephesians, Paul Paul laid it down beautifully. As he, as he addressed the, these church folks, you know, reminding them of a lot of all that God did, what he has done for us and is still doing. Yes, grace, great grace that has been bestowed on us. I'm going to stop right there. If you got a, a couple comments, or two uh, just before we uh we get into communion, you know, we we'll still see if we can get out of here. Early. Anybody? Uh, but uh, I just want to say uh, uh, this chapter which you was reading is so powerful. It just remind me of what we was talking about this morning in Galatians. Yes, you said we was walking and dead dead walking and uh paul is is, is is so adamant and powerful about his writing and about christ jesus because he said that this morning in, in galatians that even abraham mm -hmm. believed God. Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of hard to uh, foresee, but Paul is saying that Abraham didn't have no faith. Mm -hmm. He just believed God, and it was counted righteous mm -hmm. for him. But now, we Are, are, are justified by grace because it said, but before faith came, we was under the schoolmaster. And here Paul is emphasizing, and throughout all of his epistles, he's always emphasizing who is our salvation. Jesus. He is the one we have our allegiance to, our fidelity to. 
because he said before faith came and i said this morning can we substitute faith and put jesus in there before jesus came we had no that's what that is the mystery throughout the teaching what is the answer to the mystery brother donovan his story history what are you advocating here the power of christ the principles of his teaching and i'm gonna end with this you remember when john the baptist said behold the kingdom of heaven is at hand now we see jesus is on the scene teaching us his principles of heaven and we should walk in it as you said here in this epistle about paul uh so powerful we have to continue to just walk in faith and believe in christ because it's all about him he took upon all the sins of, of mankind for his will, for his glory. Uh, it's powerful. That's what I have to say. But just confirmation what we were reading this morning. Uh, as we, uh, my comment. Okay, let me, let me, okay, let me check. I'm gonna run and get my elements, brother Donovan. You gonna do communion? I, I can't hear you, brother Donovan. Mm. You can't hear me? I hear you now. Oh, I was asking if brother Taylor had a comment before we move on. Yes, yes, and Brother Henry said he was going to get his elements in the meantime. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so. huh? I, I can wait. Pardon me? I'll I, I wait on your comment. Okay, okay. Yes, um, so um, that scripture, I'm really glad that you, you mentioned that verse 10. And I'm really glad that you pointed out that scripture that say he's beautiful, um, that says his good pleasure. And it's so mm -hmm. funny. That is the scripture that kept me, like keep me through these years and even to know that I'm not just called and I'm just saved and I'm saved the purpose. Because that makes a big difference, you know. It mm -hmm. makes a big difference to know that oh, we are his workmanship. Oh, mm -hmm. man. I feel like giving up. I feel like walking away, but I am his workmanship. He's doing something here. It's not just a saving and put you to put you to the, put you down to the side, you know. And then when you look at the the, the intimate detail that he pointed out, they pointed out again, the goodness of his pleasure to reveal to us his grace at the end. Mm -hmm. You know that is like detailed stuff. You know that is not just doctrinal stuff. And when I read in the scripture, man, in the book of Peter, what did Peter say? <laughs> they forgot they were cleansed. <laughs> Those who turned back, they forgot. Mm. I'm like, man, look what the Bible say, man. Look what the word of God say. You can forget what has been done. Mm -hmm. And turn back like a dog to the to the vomit. Mm. Mm. You know, it's not like nothing has been done. You know, something has been done. You're bringing this threshold. You're brought into these things, but they have forgotten. And I'm saying, Lord, 
Mm. Help me not to forget. Let not the enemy mix up my mind so much that I forget what you really what you really have done here and what else you really want to do. You know, and it's good that that verse 10 there is a very good man because it's something to keep in check. Why? Because you're not just doing stuff on your own. Meaning to say you, you are not the one coming up with the good works. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. You are not the one coming up with the being nice to this person. You're not the one coming up with helping the old lady across the street. And what did the Bible say? He said, those who are saved, the men that do not come to the light because they hate the light, because it shows that they, they desire evil. But those who come to the light, it shows that this is wrought in God. You're definitely able to see and recognize, man, God is the one working in me to do this good stuff. You understand? So that that is a read that scripture, man. You know, it's it, even to this day, even to this now, as you remind, mentioned that scripture, like, well, we have that reminder is good. You know, I, I'm on a mission. I, God is on a mission here in me. You know, so I really, I really like that, 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 that verse of scripture too, man. It really helped. And as you said, that forgetting part, you, you know, a person can forget, but it's so dangerous to forget, man. And, and I just mm. pray that people will, will continue to remember and not to let, let the enemy for, forget us or me forget myself away into hell. I don't want that at all. Amen. Amen. Um, I didn't. Um, I didn't say it earlier. Say hi to Sister Patricia. She, she joined us and she's listening. Amen. All right, we'll move quickly. I'm still trying to get out of here at a decent time. So um, let's how about let's get into the uh the communion. Brother Henry um he might have went to get his. His element. I'm going to be reading, you know, the, the famous passage from First Corinthians chapter 11. By the way, I heard from um, Brother Theo this evening. He says he's still in um, still in South Carolina, but he'll be uh, returning later this week. He asks that we. We continue praying, praying for him, you know? Yes, yes, yes. All right, Brother Henry is back. Be reading from, um, from um, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, the famous verses. We starting at um, verse 23. As we prepare our hearts for, um, for the Lord's Supper. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And said, eat. Take rather, take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Is this do in remembrance of me? After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do we. As often as ye drink in remembrance of me. Verse 26 says, For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show forth the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body 
and the blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself. And so let him eat that bread and drink of this cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself, not discerning the Lord's body. It is cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for this moment. Lord Jesus, it is in this moment when we think of the passion that you displayed on the way to Calvary. That in a moment, oh God, an intimate moment with your beloved disciples, when you shared with them a mystery that is so deep, it boggles the mind of the unbeliever. But yet, Lord God, when we, through obedience to your word, partake in this great sermon, we can literally feel your presence with us. So tonight we ask that you would bless this bread. Bless this cup, Lord God. Bless it to our bodies. Hmm. Our desire is to please Lord Jesus. So we daily, daily ask that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. As we seek hard after you, show us the way, Lord God, that we might walk therein. Lead us by your Holy Spirit. Bless this moment to our bodies, Lord God. May our bodies be anointed by you for your service. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's, let's eat and let's drink. Mm. Thank you for the blood, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The blood that washes white and snow, the blood that cleanses, cleanses, the blood that purifies, sanctifies. Oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. Amen, amen, brothers. Oh, I shouldn't just say brothers. Like I forgot I have Sister Patricia. <laughs> amen, family. Amen, amen. amen. Well, in closing, man, I, I don't have much. Um, I, I had something earlier, but I, it slipped my mind. But I know it has to do with, with, with Saturday night, um, coming uh, you, were night about, you were talking about um, if he's, I mean, what we should look at what Hebrews 8 here said. I don't remember. Say it again Hebrews 8. He wanted us, uh, Hebrews 8. That's the one he said we're supposed to read a chapter, Hebrews 8. And um, 
It says on, on Sunday night. Oh. That's what you wanted yeah. to mention? Mm hmm Hebrews 8. That's what the chapter, right? That's why not. Who said it, brother, brother Aaron? No, you, you, you said so. That we should take a, a look at this verse of scripture. I'm prepared to pray on Saturday night. Oh, oh, oh yes. I remember now when I, 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 I had to hear a, a scripture to read and we didn't, we didn't get to it. Yeah, yeah. That was it, Hebrews 8? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it was, let me look back. I think it was, um, it was Hebrews, um, I don't think it was eight. Let me, let me, come on, Holy Spirit, refresh my memory. I think it was, um, yeah, it was Hebrew two, brother Ter. Chapter two, okay, okay. Chapter two. Okay, okay, okay. And this is for Saturday night or Sunday? No, no, no. Just, um, I wanted to read it on um, on Sunday night, but we didn't get a chance. So I, oh. Before we departed, I, I asked um, if that um, we would just, you know, in our own spare time, we'd, we we look at it. It, didn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with this upcoming Saturday. Upcoming okay, okay. Saturday, um, we um the the, the 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 thought was that we would use this week to examine ourselves, you know, and to know see if there is um there is anything in our lives that we are we are harboring, you know, that we're giving life to that is not of Christ, you know, and that we would um we would pray. About these things come Saturday night. Okay. We yeah. pray, seeking the Spirit of God to deliver us to that town. Um, we can walk a more spiritually fulfilled life. You know. That that was the that was the idea. Amen. Like I said, they said they would be late, but I, I guess they didn't make it. It's, it's all right. I know they they have different struggles down there. You know, I think I struggle with, 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 with internet. They, they they struggle a lot, as you can say. They've been walking into different areas of the house just trying to get a signal, mm -hmm. you know. God be praised, though. God be praised. Anything else before we leave, Brother Henry? I saw your, um, I saw your comment. I did read it, but I, I, I wasn't fully, fully focused because I, I was putting out the information for, um, my dear brother Tim, oh, but, yeah. um, I will check it out again, my brother. And um, yeah, I was that comment was based on I think the um, the video. Huh? I, I, I the comment was based on the video. Oh, oh, oh! It's one on one of the videos that brother Teo posted. Yeah, about the. Uh, yeah. Possessed the people, yeah. I think, yeah, I will listen to that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no other comment. Uh, you did very good, uh, Brother Donovan. Uh, um, Ephesians 1, powerful, yep. As brother sure is, yeah. say, I never, I never thought about um, the workmanship, you know. I, mm -hmm. I, hear, I hear the word, but. You know, every time we read the Bible <laughs> and ponder and seek, it seems yeah. thought you know it. Yeah. to work much better. The workmanship is working the works of his principles. Yes. <laughs> As Brother Taylor said, not about us. We ain't doing jack. It's, it's him doing it for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, Brother Tom. Yeah, man, you know, but Brother Henry, there's a word that you like to use that, um, you know, I, I say, it, man, um, that over the, well, the, over the years now, we've had some, some fellows who have 
who have come by, who have you know, come around and bamboozled them, tried to anyway. You know, so it's important that these days that we, we, we study, as the word invites us, study the word for ourselves. Oh, oh, most, oh, most definitely. Ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten it because there's a whole lot of fellows out here with, with bamboos. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, hey, hey, as we get, just before we get off here, man, I don't want to start nothing there, brother, brother Henry. But, but I heard your friend Monday morning try to say something, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. I, I heard him the, the, the try, and I'm figuring it over the next yeah. few weeks, they, 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 they're they going to be trying more and more to. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to get up with, that stuff. I'm going to put a pin in what they're saying, Brother Donald. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard they, 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 be, they be slipping it, they be slipping it in. and um, Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they I, I know, I know. But I, I'm, I'm a all right, all right, family. Um, <laughs> you got, you got anything for us, brother Taylor, before we we jump off? No, no, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man. The Patricia, all is well. I don't know if you can talk or you're still at, at the job site. Yeah, I'm here. All is well. Yeah, all is well. All right. Thanks. Just wanted to check in with you before we sign off. Yeah, appreciate it. You made it home already? Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Um, Brother Henry, you want to give us the benediction? Yes. Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. You say, Father, we just give you a cup full of our affection. You will bless us, O oh Lord, with so much we wouldn't be able to handle. And we just thank you, O oh Lord, for tonight. We thank you for Brother Donovan and his commitment and his determination to continue to uh, walk upright, giving us, O oh Lord, the, the, the will that we can continue, all of us can continue to, to be righteous and do the things that is pleasing and delightful in your sight. We thank you for the communion tonight, oh Lord. We ask that you will bless us in a special way. Bless uh, Brother Tim and his wife, uh, Sister Antoinette. Keep them, oh Lord, in your bosom. Fill the uh, empty space that they have lost, oh Lord with your love. We thank you for all that you have done and what you will do if we continue to be obedient to your name. We give you honor and we give you praise in the name of your son, Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 All right, pal. All right. God all right. Sorry, man. God, 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 God bless you. Have a good night. Have a good night, Sister Pike.